Hi, it's Sarah from Drone Minds, and here's Dan Ferrand from Unique UK introducing the Typhoon H drone. The full specs from this leaflet are at the end of the video. Okay, this is our Typhoon H. It's our brand new machine that's being uh, launched right now. It was launched a couple of weeks ago at CES in America. Uh, it's going to go on sale in the UK around about April time, beginning of April, hoping to get stock at sort of like mid-March, end of March. Um, it's a brand new machine designed from the ground up. Uh, it's a 480 size, so it's a little bit smaller than the Q500. Okay, some things are obvious. It's a hexcopter, so rather than a quad. Uh, the benefits of that is you're going to have redundancy, so it will fly on fire props. Um, you got your same battery plug and play as the Q500. So four cell battery now, not three cell. 5400 milliamps. Okay, so that's just plug and play. Uh, we're running our Seago 3 Plus camera, uh, which is an upgrade from our Seago 3 camera. Uh, one of the things is it has continual 360 yaw. Uh, also, we're running a different processor now, running an H5 processor, not an H3 processor. So your um, your options in a video are going to be a little bit more. Uh, also, we're running a Sony sensor now. Uh, this is a different sensor than we ran in the Seago 3. Uh, we have four retracts on this system as well. Uh, we're running a uh, ST16. So this is an ST24, which is for our uh, H920. It's coming in exactly the same format as this, but it's going to be a black casing, uh, 16 channel, HD screen, uh, with a HD downlink as well. Um, the, one of the biggest talking points on the H is our new collision technology. Uh, on this machine here, there's going to be a couple of different options. On this machine, we use a sonar collision. So running in the, uh, with the rates right down, running in tortoise mode, it will have a collision technology, so it will stop roughly around three meters, give or take, from any wall. And it's obviously only for, or wall or obstacle, and it's obviously only forward facing. Uh, we have optical flow on this machine as well, which will work anything below 10 meters. So flying indoors is going to be no problem. Uh, and also we have uh, our biggest technology placed on this is our real sense technology, which is another collision avoidance, ex collision avoidance technology. Uh, works 180 degrees, obviously only forward facing as well, and gives you a 45 degree up and down as well. Uh, the real sense technology is designed basically as an anti-collision technology, but it's different in terms of it senses its environment. Okay, so it's knowing what's around it, it's going to detect things that are coming in front of it. So it is, an, an, it is, a, it is a revolution in collision technology for RPAS systems.